And we're just gonna keep it rolling. I'm gonna be doing uh, riffs in between. Don't don't mind me. I'm still here all night, guys. Uh, let's give it up for your next comment coming up to the stage. Here he's here every week. Brings the crew with him. A uh, warm round of applause, Kyle Werner, everybody. Let's go, Kyle. How are you doing tonight, everybody? So recently, my phone, we all had a house phone going on, right? House phone night, the thing, someone calls, you answer, hello? Like a house phone. Yeah, we all have one. Recently, mine had to be hooked up to the Wi-Fi, because apparently AT&T doesn't cover those anymore. And they offered, my mom called them, and they offered my mom another phone, and my mom's like, why would I want another phone? I have a phone. So pretty much, now our house phone is hooked up to the Wi-Fi, and we legit have business hours. So you have until 11 p.m. to call the house. And after that, you're on your own. Like, you have until whoever wakes up to turn on the Wi-Fi until 11 p.m. After that, if you need help, don't call home. Like, don't call my home, please. And don't call me either, because I'm asleep. I got work in the morning. But figure it out, man. Call Ghostbusters, call anyone else. Just don't call Kyle, please. Unless you're one of the boys, then call me, but you're not on the list, you're on your own. Either way, like, professional house phones, no one uses them anymore anyway. I get it. Every time they call, I'm like, what's this? Hello? My dad? He's not home. Or they'll call for me, I'm like, I don't know you, and I just hang up. Like, I don't even ask, so I just hang up. I'm not really professional. Because, <laughs> I'm, not. I'm not. Even like, so I worked at a very, I used to work at a very fancy hotel, the Ritz Carlton in the Water Tower. Fanciest hotel. I did not belong there. I had a huge afro, I did not belong there. I had to hand out hors d'oeuvres, the chef told me the name, and the sauce of the hors d'oeuvre, and I was on my way. Immediately after two minutes of him telling me that, I forgot the name of the sauce. <laughs> now, the smart thing to do would be to ask the chef again what the name of the sauce was. I did not do that. I just told a whole bunch of fancy white guys in suits that I forgot the name of the sauce. I told them the name of the hors d'oeuvre, and I forgot the name of the sauce. I kept doing that for every single person I handed to. <laughs> hey, they didn't ask, they just ate it. They didn't ask no questions. I was okay with it. And I did it for the next one too. Forgot, forgot the name of the sauce again. Still didn't ask. I mean, I, I, I have a feeling I'm gonna get like nervous and the chef's gonna get mad at me because the chef was kind of a dick. I'm like, all right, man, relax. This ain't Hell's Kitchen, okay? You're not Chef Randy. I don't mind taking off my jacket. Even though I didn't get voted off, I don't mind doing that. The fuck, man. Like, dude, you're not in Hell's Kitchen. Relax. I, 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 I don't try hard, you know? My help is needed, I help. But you know who should try hard? Those people that want to be good Samaritans. Those people are so annoying. Like, you could just be doing any random thing, like, you're holding a whole bunch of stuff and you put it down, oh, you know, they'll come out, no, we're all here, let me help you. Actually, I did that on purpose because I'm trying to grab something. Well, I'm just here to help. Well, you can eat a bowl of fuck. <laughs> when I need your help, I will ask. Being nice for what? You're still going to hell, asshole. <laughs> Straight up, like you're still going to hell. Yeah, sure, you can help an old person across the street, but for what? Did you kill, did you kill ants when you were a kid? Yeah, still going to hell. I'm kind of. <laughs>